So this is one of those situations where you end up with some free scrap material that inspires you to make something. In this case, a shelf. But in order to make that thing, you first have to make a tool. Classic problem. And this is the tool I had to make, a shop press brake made from scrap metal attached to a Harbor Freight 20 ton shop press. And this story begins with a messy workbench, a kitchen pantry remodel and its leftover materials, and then it winds its way through the mind of a madman. Which then compels the madman to spend way too much time trying to make a shelf he's not entirely happy with. And in order for me to get to that dissatisfied point, I first had to figure out how to take the shelving material I had and bend it neatly so I had the shelving material I wanted. I, already having a shop press and some scrap angle iron laying around, thought this would be a great idea to incorporate all these things together and make a really simple shop press break. I first figured out how long I wanted the break to be and then cut my angle iron appropriately. I then had a nice piece of quarter inch plate that I then used to make almost everything else for this shop press break. But I of course had to cut it up into a million different time consuming pieces. The first of which was a big piece for the base of my break. Then I cut two other smaller strips to reinforce the angle iron on the base of this plate and give everything strength. Then I also had another piece of this quarter inch plate that went inside the angle iron piece on the top. In order to when this thing is functioning to align the top angle iron piece and the bottom angle iron piece, I wanted to have some guide pins on the side which the top would slide up and down on and make sure that the top aligns with the bottom at all times. And in order to do that, I had some half inch rod as well as some three quarter inch tubing. I also spaced the tubes off to the side slightly using some eighth inch material and later welded this thing all together. And then to strengthen the upper piece, I created some little buttress pieces that I welded in between the angle iron and this quarter inch plate. I also cut a small piece of two inch pipe that I used as an adapter to fit over the pin from the shop press. I capped off one side of this pipe using some more of that quarter inch material. Then welded to it a piece of one and a half inch rod and then welded the whole thing onto the top of this brake. I then cut out a series of little triangles to reinforce the angle iron on the top of this thing. And then with all this stuff tacked together, it was time to fully weld it up. And I've done all this so that I can bend up this stuff here to make a little shelf for the garage. Not 
bad, dude. Not bad. All right, let's flip it to the other side. Perfect. That's what we were looking for, man. Fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and weld the piece in between these two, and then we should have a basket. And then after some further messing around with the basket and some physics problems, I ended up with a basket on my little cleat wall that I'm not entirely happy with, but for now will work. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.